Hey guys, it's Ellie. In this video, I'll be showing you some DIY ideas for traveling. I hope you enjoy and let's get into it. The first idea is this roll up jewelry organizer. Cut out a large piece of fabric. I cut mine about 13 inches by 9 inches. When choosing your fabric, make sure both your front and back side look nice. Cut out a long strip from another piece of fabric and cut that into three pieces, though you can do more or less than this. Cut out a small rectangle as well. Mine is about four by three inches. Next, cut out another long strip of fabric, but this time make it wide as well. Make sure it is shorter than your largest piece of fabric. Now take your large piece of fabric and turn it upside down. Lay out all your pieces of fabric, and for the three smallest pieces, lay out buttons for them. I also took a very small piece of fabric and a hook and laid that out. Now it's time to sew on your buttons. So take a needle and thread and start from behind the button. Push your needle through a hole of your button. Thread that through the opposite hole to the back. Repeat this over and over until your button is nice and sturdy. Knot your thread in the back, but try to make it as unnoticeable as you can since you might be able to see it when you roll up your organizer. Repeat this for all of your buttons. Now sew the long wide piece of fabric right at the top and only at the top. Make sure this is secure, then knot it. Now I went ahead and sewed on the small piece of fabric for my hook right at the top. I then put on the fabric through the hook and sewed the other side of the fabric on top. This way, the hook is super sturdy and won't come off. Next, I took the last piece of fabric and put glue on the three sides of it and put it on the fabric, making sure the unglued side is on top. Originally, I was going to add a button to this, but I think it's totally fine with that one. You can also sew this on instead of gluing it. Finally, for all the places that you put buttons on, you should cut a hole on the bottom piece of the fabric so you can put the button through the hole. Now you are finished. For the small pieces of fabric with buttons, I put my necklaces on. The larger piece of fabric I used to hold my earrings. The reason you only sew on the top of this fabric is so you can pull up the piece and put the backs of your earrings on. At the bottom of the piece I slipped on some bobby pins to hold them. The glued piece of fabric is used as a pocket to hold any small things you'd like such as rings or large earrings. Lastly, use the hook to hold your bracelets or hair ties. Now you can go ahead and fold or roll up your fabric and tie on some ribbon or string to hold it. This organizer is so useful and a great way to keep track of all of your jewelry so you don't lose anything. The next DIY is this duct tape luggage tag. Take a long strip of duct tape and fold it in half with the sticky sides facing each other. Cut it off. Using clear packing tape, do the same thing, so I took two pieces of tape and stuck them together. Trim any parts where your sticky area is sticking out. Lay your clear tape on top of your duct tape, and using another piece of duct tape, stick those together, making sure the clear tape is showing as much as possible. Trim off any excess tape. If you'd like, you can cut a design on one end, so I folded my tape in half and cut a triangle. Next, I laid a piece of duct tape on the back to cover up the blue tape that was showing and trim the excess. I took another piece of duct tape and placed it on the front where my triangle cutout is and trimmed that. Now slide in a piece of paper with your information on it between the clear tape and duct tape. Now I tape the edge where the end of my tag is and cut the rest off. Lastly, I cut a long piece of duct tape and folded it in half hot dog style. I taped one end of that under the blue piece of tape on the front and took another piece of tape and taped the other side on the back. I again trimmed the excess tape and voila, you have made your very own luggage tag. This is perfect because you can easily tell which bag is yours since your tag is a one of a kind. The third travel DIY is this earbud holder. Take a piece of fabric and fold it in half. Cut out a triangle. When you open it up, you should have a diamond shape. On the tip of one end of the diamond, sew on a button. So I'm just pushing the needle through a hole from the back to the front and threading it through another hole to the back again. 
I repeated this until it was secure and tied a knot in the back with my thread. On the opposite end of your diamond, you should cut a hole. Now you should wrap up your earbuds and put the diamond through the middle of your wrap. Push the button through the hole of your fabric and that's it. This is so easy and this prevents your headphones from getting all tangled up. Alright, that's the end of my video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!